I'm Sam Mancarella and I'm the Director of Systems Engineering here at Menco. I suppose the best way to answer that question is to first understand what is systems engineering in general. And now systems engineering looks at the big picture of a system of interest, what it needs to do, how it interacts with actors and other systems to fulfill its purpose. Uh, and you achieve this by defining your system's requirements, structure and behaviour into an architecture. And then you use that architecture to define the specifications for each of the parts that you need to develop uh, in order to create a complete system. Those specifications will inform the creation of your 3D CAD models for your structure, the behaviour and the logic that needs to be implemented as software, and the tasks and the steps that a process of um, a human that would need to be performed. Once you have those parts built and implemented, they are then individually tested to verify that what was built is in alignment with what was specified. Um, those parts then need to come together to perform integration testing to verify it against the system specification. And then finally, the completed system is tested as a whole to validate its behaviour um, against its intended requirements for final delivery to customer. Now that's systems engineering. Model-based systems engineering, or MBSC, achieves the exact same goal. The difference is you use MBSC methods and tools to define your requirements, your use cases and your system architectures as an inter interconnected and computable model. So there are three key reasons for using MBSC over traditional methods. Um, the first is that MBSC provides a very precise way to define requirements, um, functional flows, system blocks, and their interfaces. Um, this position allows you to scale so that you could design, analyze, and verify highly complex systems without missing any detail. The second reason why MBSC is, uh, is, 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 is better than the traditional method is that it provides a standardized way of working. So by adopting the relevant MBSC standards that are offered by the ISO, the International Council of System Engineers and the Object Management Group, your MBSC models can be developed and used in a consistent manner across your IPTs, between international sites, your suppliers and your primes, and with your customers and consumers. Also, when you adopt these MBSC standards, your organisation has the support of an international ecosystem of certified trainers, practitioners and tool vendors that align to those standards, so that your organisation doesn't need to spend time and money reinventing capability from the ground up. The third reason to adopt MBSC is that the models you create become what we call the system digital twin of your product, which you can then integrate into your other engineering workflows and systems. So this lets you create what we call a digital thread of your product that connects the requirements to the functional designs, then to the detailed designs and the production work records that represent um, the build, down to the verification records that, that, that represent test, and then the delivery certificates. And then finally, uh, you can connect all of that information to your operational and maintenance data. Now, if you were to compare that with the traditional systems engineering approach, you would have all of this valuable information locked up in documents, you know, checked in under version control, but they won't be available uh, for you to analyse or compute, and they won't be embedded as part of your uh, product lifecycle management solutions. Uh, any organisation of any size that's engineering any system that needs to be well understood. Um, whether that's a highly complex unmanned aerial system that operates in conjunction with other vehicles or land-based systems, or whether it's even a business system where the interaction of people and organisations uh, need to be understood uh, uh, to describe a complex transaction. It's important for these systems that errors and emissions in the design are caught early in the development process, where they are far less costly to resolve. It's also important that design clarity and transparency is provided to your regulatory bodies so that they can be assured that the systems you create operate within the regulatory and safety critical constraints. So with those drivers in mind, at MEMCO, we see MBSC adopted in the acquisition and sustainment of aerospace and defence assets, in life sciences for the development of biomedical devices and instruments, in the energy sector for the development of smart grid and green energy systems, and indeed in the finance and government sectors where the complex interaction of agencies and securities needs to be carefully orchestrated. We can expect to see model-based system engineering play a key role in the digital enterprise over the coming decade. Um, we can expect to see market demand increase for high-tech solutions to real-world problems, and we can also expect to see increased stakeholder scrutiny over the development of those solutions so that they don't just meet fu uh, functional or regulatory requirements, but that they also meet affordability and sustainability requirements that place a very important societal and environmental lens over any new system of interest. All of this drives demand for greater agility in systems engineering and the need for data-driven decision-making by analysing and computing the data that you create during your system design. 
So to do this requires the adoption of MBSC standards and the use of supporting tools and ways of working within a digital ecosystem that is complemented by highly skilled and competent people. An organisation looking to adopt or grow their MBSC capability needs the assistance of expert practitioners, engineers and trainers. And this is why we at Nemco are offering our clients the MBSC Pathway to Success Solution Portfolio so that we can support them throughout their MBSC adoption journey so that they in turn can get the most out of their Katia Magic MBSC tools offered by the SALT systems and get the most out of their investment in MBSC capability which they need to deliver high-tech and innovative solutions to their customers.